What is up, everyone? Um, this is episode two of Building Lola the Beer Bus. I appreciate you watching, um, all the support we got on the first episode, but today we are having some fun. Uh, we're going to Home Depot a few times. We're going to pick up some steel. Um, just looking for, you know, some, like, you know, slates, either, you know, uh, two feet, three feet long, whatnot. We're going to cut them down, um, put them together, do some practice with the welding. We're going to do a butt weld and a fillet weld. So we're going to practice both of those. A uh, little intimidated on welding, but that's why we practice. So enjoy the episode, and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> Got the bus, baby. <laughs> chance to feel alive nothing's gonna stop us nothing's gonna talk there's nothing like we've ever seen so we're at home depot um, we're gonna be here quite often getting materials right now I'm looking for um, like some quarter inch steel to practice welding on but I don't know where anything is at Home Depot so I'm wandering down every aisle see you in a bit news, guys got the oh, fancy welding kit from Amazon today went with Lincoln I'll be practicing different welds here pretty soon this one does MIG and uh, flux core. Looking forward to practicing. This is where I'll be doing some of the work. Uh, I need a little cleaning up, but this will be my workshop. Terrible cut. Uh, it kept moving um, while I was trying to cut it, so I need to figure out a better way to kind of mount this thing. Um, I need a better overhang on here. Um, this part of the things I'm going to do, cleaning it up, but it works. It's good enough to start welding. So we're basically going to put pieces like this. We'll tack, you know, top, bottom, probably in the middle, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll practice a bead. And it's going to look terrible at first, but that's why we practice. Alright, so as you can see, much cleaner that time. Alright, so first thing uh, before we weld, we did some cuts and... Watch out! Watch out! Uh, did some cuts on the steel. Um, before we start welding, I don't want to weld in here because obviously it's a little small and I don't want to weld on a wood um, kind of makeshift <clears throat> workbench. Um, so what I'm going to do is come over here. This workbench over here is much nicer, real solid, but obviously there's stuff everywhere. So um, we're going to clear that off and then I'm going to run back out to Home Depot, um, grab some more stuff that'll be three trips in the last like two days um i'm gonna do either like some sheet metal or maybe like a diamond plate something just to something solid we're gonna measure it up to fit the table perfectly um something solid to weld on um to give it a good connection <laughs> so we got uh, the sheet metal from Home Depot and we've already measured it and cut it to size um, what I did here was 
Uh, yeah, you can see it in there. Uh, was mark. There we go. Uh, where the actual end of the table is, and then um, what we're going to do is just kind of screw it in, um, and then I'm going to hammer this around the corner so I don't cut myself. All right, here we go. So we went through uh, three drill bits and my back, probably. Uh, but we got it, um, it's good enough. I don't really like this, but um, the edge turned out okay. And it definitely gives us something good to weld on. So I will be doing some practice tomorrow, but for now I am going to bed. So first weld, um, <laughs> it was kind of uncomfortable and it was all over the place, um, but it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not too bad, solid. I was trying to go slow. Okay, so you can kind of see. I was trying to go slower. Um, so we tried a butt weld next. Um, all of you, uh, people that know how to weld are probably laughing at me. Um, but this one was actually a lot easier, uh, just because I would imagine it's got a flat surface. Um, but it did get a little uncomfortable, you know, kind of towards the end there, just because it's kind of in an awkward position. So I'm going to work on that. Um, but I mean, it's okay. You can see it's still kind of thin, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll get better. Alrighty, guys. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for episode two. Um, it's a little smoky in here from welding, but um, we had a lot of fun with this episode. Um, want to say real quick, it's been a little tough kind of getting everything together. If you've noticed, some of the camera angles were are you know a little. Or the camera sizes are a little bit different because I'm switching back and forth between a GoPro and my phone. Um, Got to remember to put the phone you know tilted sideways. All that stuff with, you know, just regular video uh, recording, but we'll get it. So I appreciate your patience. Um, i got Pronto in here. Don't worry, I didn't have him in here when I was welding. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we did some welding, we did some cutting. Um, we're going to try to get some, you know, actual work on the bus done next episode. But I do really appreciate all the support. Just want to say that it's been crazy just with one episode out. I've had a lot of love coming my way from friends and family. So that means a lot to me. Um, also, one last thing people have asked. Um, I have a link in the description below. I did set up a Patreon page. Um, if you are interested in basically supporting me, what it does is it sets up a donation. Um, you definitely don't have to do this. In any, any donation, no matter the size, whether it's a dollar, it goes a huge way. Um, it's just going to go to supporting the channel kind of, you know, building the bus. Um, but I'll, like I said, I'll link that in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to text me, message me, whatnot. Um, but again, I appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you next episode. <laughs>